When you receive your Medicare card, there's gonna be a lot of information on the front that you might not be familiar with. So today, I'm gonna to show you what your Medicare card is gonna look like, explain to you the information on the front, and show you how to get a replacement if you lose your card. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, and I'm the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm a licensed insurance agent that works specifically with people enrolling into Medicare, and today I'm gonna to talk to you all about the Medicare card. Talk about what's on the front, what it looks like, and what to do if you lose your card. Before we get started, if you find the information in this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below. So just starting off, this is what your Medicare card is going to look like. So when you turn 65, this is what's going to arrive in the mail. And it's got a couple different pieces of information on there. Some you might know, like your name and then other things like this Medicare number, Part A and Part B. And a lot of people are kind of like, what does that mean? So the first thing on there is your Medicare number. Now, this is your unique number for all of your Medicare needs. Previously, it used to be your Social Security number with a letter on the end, but we were realizing that a lot of people don't want to walk around with their social security number in their wallet so things have transitioned and now it's become your medicare number and this is what you use to look up your medicare claims to enroll in supplement plans to enroll in prescription drug plans it's a pretty important number the other thing on the front is going to be your medicare part a and part b effective dates so if you don't know medicare part a is your hospital coverage and Medicare Part B is all your outpatient coverage. And I have videos that explain both Part A and Part B much more in depth, and I'm gonna link them down below, and it'll explain exactly which one covers what. And something good to know is your Part A and Part B do not have to have the same effective dates. So a lot of people start their Part A and they're still working and they start their Part B later. A lot of people are retired and start A and B at the same time. There's a ton of different scenarios when your Part A and Part B can start, whether it's the same day or separate days. So this card's pretty important. It's also pretty easy to lose. You get just a tiny little piece of paper. So what do you do if you lose your Medicare card? So say you're kind of searching around the house, you can't find it, was in your wallet, your wife's wallet, you don't know. There's a couple easy ways to get a replacement card. The first one's gonna be online. So you can go to the Social Security website and request a new Medicare card. It's probably the easiest way. You don't have to talk to anybody, get it in the mail. Second way is gonna to be to call Social Security. So I've listed the phone number here. It's 1-800-772-1213. You can call them, let them know you need a new Medicare card and they can send it to you in the mail. The last way is to go in person to the Social Security office to let them know you've lost the card. You can fill out the form and they will send it to you. And they have about 30 days to get it to you. So in the meantime, if you need it, you need that Medicare number for something, you can access that through the Social Security website. They can give you a temporary form that shows you've got that Medicare coverage. Because that number is pretty important. Like I said, it's how you're gonna get things like your supplement plan and your prescription drug plan, which is what I do. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plans for them. So if you need help with that, you can give me a call. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. I'll visit, also visit my website at medicarebyjamie.com and I can work with you to help you get the best supplement plan option for you. So again, hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Again, my number's up there, it's 833-65-JAMIE. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and thank you for watching.